Welcome back everyone. In this video here, we are going to be using the Festival King team in 4v4. Uh, I tried a bit of it in, um, uh, you know, normal gear PvP. It didn't work out too well, but it did work out very nicely in 4v4. The main reason for that is because we can actually use uh, Ludo in the front to give this team a much more, um, you know, a better ability to kill opponents. Without Ludo, you know, you do kind of kind of struggle, especially in a meta like this where one of the most used units does have a cleanse and uh, you don't really have a way to kill your opponents quickly. Obviously, Festival King team has never been a stall team, you know, you don't have any kind of stalling unless you run the Goddess Liz, but, you know, as I said, in this meta of cleansing with Margaret, uh, you know, running Liz in the front really does uh, nothing for you, of course, but in 4v4, Things should be all good. You're able to do uh, really good damage with your debuffs because obviously you'll do the initial hit which is going to do more damage now that we have Ludo. And then of course on your opponent's following turn when they end their turn they are also going to uh, take more damage because the debuff did more damage than it usually did in the first place. A bit of a mouthful but uh, I think we'll go for Margaret here. King attack or go? I think go through attack. I think go through attack is a better choice here. I might be wrong, but I don't want to use King's uh, cards just yet. And that was correct. Gotha does get the kill on Margaret. Now that she's dead, uh, we are pretty much guaranteed to win. We've applied the debuffs. We've controlled the gauge uh, naturally through Fest King's passive. And now we just have to use these attack cards on the final turn of the Ludo passive to make sure we get the W and... Oh. Oh, are we... Okay, Ludo is still alive. Alright, that's good. That's good. See, some pretty good debuff damage. Uh, we'll give a, we'll give one each to Droll. We'll give one to Escanor. And just to be safe, we'll use the Ludo AoE just to make sure. I want them both dead. Okay, Droll does die. It's gonna also die. Uh, I guess we could have used the uh, level 2 single target from Ludo, but it's all good. Scooped up the first one, very nice, let's proceed. Alright, next up we have a team with Margaret. Alright, this will test out how good uh, <laughs> our RNG is because if we don't draw another Gotha debuff next turn, we are going to have to wrap up the game really, really quick because we don't have the ability to take our sweet time. We'll do this. Uh, Tom Yell, I mean... Tomio's fine, obviously he doesn't, you know, protect you against debuff damage. Like when you take damage from debuffs, his um, taunt isn't gonna, you know, reduce the damage you take. So it's a decent turn one. Oh, look at that. We are actually good players. We draw another debuff with Gotha. We are good players. What can you do about it? Oh, no, wait. This doesn't kill. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Show me the debuff damage. That is... Eh, I mean, it doesn't look that good on the Archangels because obviously they're buffed by Sariel, but Escanor is looking pretty hurt right now. Uh, let's apply a few more. Uh, I don't I don't actually know how good Gotha's lifesteal is. I should have checked, but either way, going for the debuffs is definitely what we want to do right here. Because uh, we only applied two last turns, so we'll apply the last one this turn. And... Uh, the, if Gotha dies, do we lose his debuff? I know sometimes that can happen, like you like if a unit dies and they have debuffs on the opponent, they can lose them, but I don't think it should here. Alright, he's dead. No, the opponent doesn't lose the debuffs. Okay. Okay, well. Um We're gonna put the rank two on Margaret will put the level one on Escanor. And I guess we'll put the level one on Tamiel. I think this should kill Margaret though. Yes, it does. Very nice. Very nice. This definitely kills Escanor. Very nice indeed. And then we just put the level one on Tamiel for, I don't know, reasons. <laughs> reasons i guess uh, but yeah we should be good to go to win this one i don't see uh my opponent surviving two debuffs wear off next turn 
Actually, wait, can any of my units be killed? No, they cannot. Okay, well, that, that should be game over. This should be game... Oh, no. Sorry, Oga Ultima. I'm gonna try my best not to kill Tommy O here. Don't die, please. Oh, n oh, nice, 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 nice. Obviously, I didn't want to kill Tom Yo because if I did, my opponent would have drawn the um, the ultimate for Sario. But uh, that did not happen, so we should be a okay. He is gonna reduce my gauge, I think. I think. Oh, he isn't. Oh, perfect. Okay. We actually get to use a uh, Festival King Ultimate. Nice, nice. Uh, all right, we'll fire this off. Wait, actually, if this doesn't kill Sorry out at the start of the turn, I lose the game. Oh, no, nah, we, we we don't lose. We don't lose. Well, at least I don't think. The only reason we don't lose is because of the damage reduction that you get when you use um, Festival King's Ultimate. If you guys didn't know, I know it doesn't really come up often, but uh, when you do use his ultimate, uh, you get uh, two buffs, one of which uh, reduces final damage and one that inflicts the abyss. I don't, I don't really know what final damage means, but uh, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll attack him past turn and then this should be game over. We can go to the next one. And yeah, very good. All right, next up. Is this the same guy? No, it's not. Or is it? I don't even know. Is this the same guy as the uh, last game? No, it's not the Tommy on Sorry, I was switched. Okay, but mm, see, is this a is this a popular team? I don't know, but uh, we're going to start off with the debuffs first. Just in case he has dodge food. Okay, he doesn't have dodge food. It was bad. But pretty, you know, decent turn one when you consider the debuff damage on, you know, during their end phase. Let's see what he does. I mean, there's not really much he can do if we're being completely honest. We do not draw another Gotha debuff. Well, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes is uh, all I can say. That's pretty unlucky. Though, to be completely honest, your chances of drawing it aren't the highest anyway, so, uh, you know. He's gonna apply the Tommy O Taunt, which uh, definitely, definitely sucks. We're gonna have to do some... I mean, there's just no way we can kill Margaret, not with the not with the damage reduction. There's just no way. We're better off using all of our AoEs. Yeah, we're just going to do that. I mean, the Tamiya is level 85. But using all of our AoEs is probably the better thing to do here, even though my opponent is going to cleanse. So we've got them really, really low on turn 2. The entire team is pretty much really low. We get some more debuffs, which is going to be good, because we still have Ludo passive, so they're not going to do, you know, garbage damage. They're going to cleanse here. Unlucky. But we should be able to wrap this up. We should definitely be able to uh, wrap this up by next turn. Or at least I hope, because if we can't, then uh, <laughs> might, be in, uh, might be in a little bit of trouble. She'll use the AoE, doesn't do the greatest damage. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Really, man? At least now we can use Ludo's AoE. At least uh, we get some value from this. As long as we kill Escanor, we should be fine. Although, if we kill Escanor... Um... I'm gonna single target the uh, the Tamiyo, because he does have ultimate. We need to keep that in mind. Yep, yep, yep. Tamiyo is... Wait, what? Not what? Oh, wait, because he died. Okay, okay. For a second there, guys. For a second, I was about to be very butthurt. I didn't realize that he died. 
because uh, it went straight to Ludo's attack, I didn't see. But uh, yeah, thank god for that. Okay, now this is winnable. Very, very winnable indeed. Uh, so yeah, obviously in a situation where we didn't draw the second uh, debuff for Margaret, it's still not the end of the world because we actually do uh, some pretty damn good damage on the first uh, two turns. So in the end, it didn't really matter too much. Now we just have to uh, get a kill and for that we'll just, we'll do this, we'll get ultimate for both. Uh, double Ludo attack, oh wait, oh that was not enough, oh dear. Uh, we, we should, we should be okay. We should be fine, I don't, I don't think we die here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Get to kill, but that's probably irrelevant. Level 3 AoE doesn't kill my Gotha. That's all good. I mean, it doesn't really matter if Gotha dies. The only thing that matters is that if he does die, I can't use uh, three cards, which obviously I do want to use three. Uh, AoE, ultimate, and then single target should wrap this one up, and then we can... Uh, proceed to the next game so far so good uh, as long as we don't face assault melee uh, because we do uh, you know the festival king team always just insta loses to assault melee you just can't beat him no matter you know what you do so yeah as long as we don't face assault melee i think we should be good to um win every game here ggs to that opponent and we can move on all right next up we have oh This, mm, this, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna, hmm. We'll go for all debuffs. We'll use all the debuffs turn one. I mean, Barn can use his buff, but you know, it's not. I'm not really too worried about the buff itself. Obviously, an ungeared barn team is weaker than usual because they, you know, they don't have the HP gear, which obviously does a lot for you for the team. So uh, let's see how we can do in this one. Uh, we're going to be able to control their gauge for the next three turns, which is good. So you know. You can't really rush ultimate easily, but outside of that, hmm, we will double attack the Arthur because Arthur, in my opinion, is the main issue. If you get him dead, which ah, we do. That was a lot of damage. Wow. Hey, pretty pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. And the AOE also does some really good damage. Okay. Festival King would actually do really, really well against the Barn team if Demon Hendrickson was a different color. Because um, if this was geared, I'm pretty sure Barn would have no issue just destroying Demon Hendy. Which sucks, obviously. But in, in ungeared, can actually be, uh, be a possibility. We'll put one card on... We go and then put two on Escanor. Should be able to kill both of them this turn. Yeah, we do. Very, very nice. So, uh, yeah. Hey, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Obviously, in ungeared, I think the, f the, the matchup is in our favor a little bit. Just, the, you know, just, just a little bit. Nothing too serious. But, uh, yeah, in geared, for example, like, that just, that, like, that, that would kill my demon Hendy. And then we'd be in a pretty bad spot. But at this point here, it's just a matter of um, killing the opponent. So I guess we'll just move to the next one because there's not really much to see here. All right, next up we have a uh, Margaret <laughs> Lost Vade Miliotis. Oh, I ain't seen him in a while, dude. I ain't seen him. The last time I saw a uh, Lost Vade Miliotis is when I used him in my. Uh, video of him recently if you haven't seen that do check it out we will start off with i'm gonna do two demon handy cards because quite frankly i'm very confident that um uh 
my festival king would crit. However, I should have just attacked him anyway because if I recall correctly, Gotha does lock level twos with the debuff. Gotha does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotha does lock level two, so I guess we could have just attacked him with King anyway, and it would have been fine. All right, now it's just a matter of um, killing Margaret. Wait, wait, did he have dodge food? Did I? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um okay. Yeah, I, I I'm yeah, I didn't see. I think uh, I think he did have dodge food. Yeah, that's the only thing that would um answer why uh, he was able to use the buffs. But it's fine cuz we just insta killed Los Vane there. Easy. Now that he has 3 and we have uh, 4. We should be good to go. Honestly, if he has another cleanse, I'm going to be kind of upset, not going to lie. It's kind of Damn. He's a good player, what can I say? The only reason I didn't use my Gotha debuff is, not gonna lie, I just assumed he wouldn't have, um... I just assumed he wouldn't have another another cleanse, but there he goes. He kills my Ludo, which is horrible, horrible, horrible news for us. Very, very bad news. But, uh, I guess we can do this uh sure we'll get double ultimate why not get double ultimate and see how he how he deals with it locked most of his hand which is a very good sign now as long as he doesn't somehow kill my gotha with these three cards we should be safe although i'm not really Oh, it's locked, you fool. You can't use it. Oh. You can't use rank twos. That's unfortunate, don't you think? Okay, um, we're taking no chances here. We're gonna... Put the level three on Green Gotha and just ult the Margaret. Um, I, I just want to guarantee that those two die because they both have ultimate. And we know that he has no way of, like... Luckily, merging into Escanor Ultimate. All right, we're gonna kill Escanor here. Very nice, and then we are going to kill Margaret. Pretty good. So yeah, even though I messed up, and uh, I didn't recognize that the op uh, that the uh, what you call it, the opponent did have um, dodge food. We still managed to get the win, which obviously is very nice. And uh, that will be it, guys. Didn't lose a single game. Obviously, very luckily, we didn't face any Assault Melees. If we faced Assault Melee, we definitely would have lost because you just can't beat that with Festival King Team. But, um, yeah, man, if you have the new Gotha and you do want to try out, uh, you know, the King Team, just in case you built them a long time ago and you can't use them anymore, do try this out. Uh, Ludo is kind of necessary, I'm not going to lie. If you do not have Ludo, uh, it's going to be really difficult to close out games. I guess you could put in Margaret instead for the buff or... Maybe uh, maybe Lolly Merlin to try and kill units fast or Escanor if you really want. But from what I saw, I do think Cluedo is the best option. That'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do drop a big thumbs up for the algorithm, of course. Uh, subscribe if you're new as always. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Goodbye.